the first time I really got introduced to Airbag Man was when I had my 76 series Land Cruiser. Now, it's a mid wheelbase Land Cruiser with leaf springs in the rear. The more and more gear we put on it, the more and more the arse end started to sag down. I was running a lot of extra gear, but rooftop tents, awnings, and uh, although the leafs were set perfectly for around town driving, when I loaded all that extra gear in there, all our food, extra water, fuel, and uh, of course all the camera gear when we're heading away filming, I found the, 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 the back end just started to sag down a little bit. So uh, that was the first time I got introduced to Airbag Man uh, was their Leaf Assist Airbags. Now, super simple, easy to fit. You can DIY this one at home, guys. But um, that was the first application. From there, we moved into the 79 series where it was a leaf sprung rear. We did a full coil conversion on this truck. Leaf sprung rear and we used their coil assist kit. Um, this one was a little bit flasher. Instead of uh, being able to pump the bags up manually at the back like we did on the 76, which is one of their more basic systems, we actually linked it up to the uh, ARB link system and we run this one off the air tank. So super easy to be able to adjust in car which meant my vehicle sat absolutely perfectly level no matter uh, how much different weight variation I was carrying. One of the other biggest things I've found through the 76 and the 79 is the rear airbags really stiffened up that rear end and took a lot of the, uh, a lot of the sway out of the vehicle given the fact that I was running a lot of weight up top. So that was definitely a huge benefit, uh, obviously along with being able to adjust the pressures to carry different weights. 